So what is the topic today? I write. Not enough. Payment. Payment. So yesterday payment. we completed the invoice related topic. So today we'll yes. see payment. Yes. Excel to see how many type of payment is there, so you can easily. Yeah. the kind of payments okay, electronic payment wire transfer ach debit automatic clearance electronic data interface So let's see what is the invoices yesterday we created so that we can match the same invoice with payment. Okay. Yeah. So, control F11. So the first two which we created yesterday. So the <coughs> supplier number is 5037 and file so it is easy for you to refer i will save it here uh, so so that you can yeah. refer it uh, yes sir that will be better mm. So it's your wish that if you know trading partner, you can type trading partner or uh, 
update the supplier number it will be auto pick okay yeah. so we can select anything right if we know the code yeah, supplier yeah. Code, we can yeah, it is always uh, easy to go with supplier number yes so there will be uh, multiple supplier side yesterday we discussed about this so for that there is there will be multiple branches or multiple supplier side will be there so you select for which site you are going to do a payment yes and partner address is not required pay country if you want you can select or else you can ignore so payment date you can select either today's date or future if you are going to make a future payment then you can select future suppose for example i have one small question arise here Yes. Suppose if you are making PDC payment, okay. So we will issue post dated checks. Okay. So is there any uh, different calc uh, this one uh, application for that one, or we can yeah. mention here? The yeah, post dated check. Say for example, if you are giving after ten days, that is month end, twenty eighth of February, then we put the yeah. payment in the twenty eighth February. So that the so, will be the same. So we'll we'll make the payment on this date and the clearing date we can enter. Oh yes, that also you can do. Yes, I will show you. Okay. The payment creation date maybe you are issuing a check today, so you will update the date here. And here, in the anticipated value date, you can update the clearing date. Hello. Yeah. Okay. This one. Okay. So, so this is my only question. The yeah, you, you change is there to enter the maturity date is there and the uh, anticipated value date is there. So there you can uh, okay. update your uh, clearing date, so that when you see the okay. payment, you can refer that which date we are going to they are going to clear the check. Check yes. The payment amount I will update thousand. Since the invoice amount is thousand. Bank account. We can uh, see. I have another question here. What yes. we will do? Some, for example, if we are we are raising payment against some invoice, right? So we can clear yeah. against that invoice, right? Yes. Okay. See, uh, you you are already created the invoice and uh, the invoice once it is approved, it will come to your queue that this invoice is pending for payment, payment or yes. uh, the bulk of bulk of invoices. Say for example, you yeah. created five to ten invoices till last week. It depends. Aging will be there. That uh, these are the invoices is in your aging that you yes. need to pay and clear. Okay. So based on that only you are going to create a payment. So you know what are the supplier invoices is pending. Uh, likewise, you can create a batch payment and you can do a payment accordingly. So if you want to split yes. it as three, like partially it will be wire, partially it will be check, post-dated check or current check. So like that, you can yes. create two batches and you can do a payment accordingly. Yes, perfect. See here, uh, whatever the bank we created, that is available for you. Okay, but uh, you can't uh, select all the banks, whatever you want. So you you have to select the which bank you are uh, uh, predefined. Going to pay. Bonds. See, based on the supplier, you already defined the payment bank set. Yes. Okay. So for this supplier, the payment should go from Barclays or uh, HDFC or HSBC. Okay. So for the same way, you have to select uh, based on the currency, payment currency, and payment method. So that uh, logic okay. will be in the back end. So you need to select it accordingly. It means whatever the while creation was of vendor, we select one bank. So we have to clear from that bank only, right? That is exactly right. yes, yes. So if we don't define at the uh, like in the supplier master. If you don't define the bank, so we can select any bank also, right? Not any bank. So if it is a USD payment, you can select USD. Okay. And it's better always define the bank for the supplier, then proceed for payment. Okay.
for the payment document number you have to update your invoice number so here you are, we already updated the invoice number 12 the payment document has no associated invoice payments so payment processing profile always check you are going to pay via check so check the usd so this has in the document Can it add parameters to parameter list? Standard invoice, let's see, match, no, 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 Operating unit vision operation and option all. <coughs> okay. Submitted. <coughs> okay, I will tell you why because this invoice is not yet validated. So you need a yeah. valid invoice to create a payment. Yeah, it's not yet approved, I think. Ah, yes, that's the reason it is uh, not showing the payment. Validation.
here instead of showing where it is. Okay, Are you able to follow my screen, uh, Sohil? Yeah, I can see her. Yeah. Just share this screenshot also because uh, it will be easy for my future. Sure. Let's 
Create one more invoice. Just uh, follow this. Uh, I will let you know once it is completed. See the new sums again. To open, expand. Function F11, US number 1234, control F11. Right. 
This one now validated. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm with you. Okay, sir. So there is a mismatch in the previous invoice. So now yeah. we have created a new invoice that is validated. Okay. Yeah. Now you can see it is changed to validator. Approval required. So see how it works. So once it is validated, then only we can proceed with the payment, right? Yes. So approval initiated. See now the status changed to initiated. AP payment approval queue will be there. Okay, separate queue. I mean, approval queue, I, uh, that means the all approved invoices are in queue to, for the payment. That means all the all the invoices that is pending for approval will be there. Okay.
is not related to PO, which is uh, pending for approval. Did you go on through the document provided by Suresh? Okay. No, that document Suresh provided is for, I think, for functional, that is. I Yeah. So it is clear that if an approver approve the invoice, then the invoice go to the next person in the approval list until all required people approve the invoice. If an approver reject yes. the invoice. The levels of approval. Yes. yes. So there is a window called force approval. Use the force approval option to manually approve the invoice. This force approval will be in approval management. Force approval is hmm, approval management, it is missing. That's why I am searching.
software management is uh, not available now. More AT systems. I think there is no approval defined. Uh, approval uh, is not required in this testing scenario. I think. So let's try a payment now. We'll see the result. Okay. Hello. So, so we can proceed with payment if there is no approval. No. No, no. no. We we try to pay. Uh, we do a payment. Okay. Actually, it will go to this queue. Post approval management. Uh -huh. Approval management queue will be there. There you can do a force approval. Or if you are an administrator, it will show you that the invoice is pending for approval. You click the invoice and just click OK. If you are OK, okay with okay. it, click OK and it will be like approved. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I think for testing purpose, it is eliminated uh, this portion. Let's see to do a payment and we'll see. Okay. I will do a shortcut. Okay. This is like yeah. paying for. Upload before you can make a payment. On it. So it is asking yet. So here I have a shortcut for approval. Okay, I click mm -hmm. and I approve it. You can see here the action button. It is having a force approval. Okay. Okay. So this this will be separately in outside also, but that is missing in this uh, uh, in this version. So I just uh, click the shortcut and I approve the invoice. Yes. Okay. There is two type of payment option is there. One is action quick action and you can do approval and another one is you can create a payment line that payment we already, line ah, we already tried no that method yeah okay so which one you want you, you can we do an action quick action or we will create a one more payment line no we can do both the scenarios right one by one yes so we'll see for this one i will do click pay in full okay click okay so it will go to the payment screen yes same payment screen only. okay you you go out and click the payment screen that is different if you have yeah. two different teams then one will create an invoice one will do a payment yes. if you are a guy that uh, creating the invoice and doing a payment then both you can yes okay so now by using a shortcut i came to payment screen yes. so no need to manually type here trading partner name invoice number and all it is auto yes. You can cross check. This is trading partner is 3M Healthcare. Yeah. And already the supplier site is selected automatically. Trading partner address is correct. Payment date I can give you today's date or if you want you can give future date as well.
so the payment amount you double check it is 542 yes. but we can do here part payment also right if suppose the invoice is 1000 usd right we are yes, paying yes. 800 yes you can do a part payment as well okay done done that is fine so what you have to do is instead of quick action hello yes instead of quick action you have to create a payment with the partial amount yes. say for example instead of 500 if you want to pay only 250 you click 250 and uh, make a payment okay Everything is safe. Save the payment. Do not insert money into the bank account. Okay. I I prefer to select operating account. Click OK. Payment method check. Processing profile. Check the list. So this is the same. Will be uh, will be effect in your uh, payment slip. So while yes. clicking everything, make sure this is the way you are to make a payment. is a term you say quick action right quick action yes so the payment is saved okay so the main thing is via quick action the payment is applied with the actual invoice which we created yes. just before okay so if you see here the actual invoice is showing for you to easy reference so this invoice is applied with that payment yes okay so invoice overview you can see the invoice which we created 3m health yeah. care supplier number invoice number and supplier site it is manually validated manually approved accounting unprocessed okay we are yet to do a create accounting so once we done the create accounting the accounting will be like processed i will show you how it will be hello yeah okay the paid will be paid by check format okay so the so check still this invoice is not hit the gl right yes accounting is not yet processed we did the payment process yet to hit a gl okay okay so why the error is throwing is it is asking the check number so in default it is picking up the next to available check yes. okay, in the checkbook it will be having 1001 1000 to 1003 right yes. like, like that the next number it is auto picked up So payment overview. If you click payment overview, it will goes to payment. So these are the criteria which we selected. We selected quick payment. Yeah. Okay. The check number is ten thousand one, and we paying using USD currency. Mm. Amount to pay total amount five forty two for the invoice one two three four. This is the payment overview. Yes. The previous one is invoice overview. Okay. See, this is the invoice overview. Yes. If you click payment overview, you can see the payment. If you want to see the supplier, click supplier and see. The 3M health care details. If you want to see the yes. payment bank, you can click payment and you can see the payment details, bank details. Yes. See, multiple currency allowed for this bank. We are paid using Bank of America, United States branch. Yes. So our account number, currency, everything is there. So this is the uh, uh, multiple Payment. options here. So you can see payment uh, view. invoice view supplier view bank view and payment details so if you want to see the part part payment also you can see here so what are the invoices applied so instead of uh, one single invoice if you have four different invoices for 3m health care 
if you want to pay it partially for all the four invoices say for example for each invoice in the first installment you are paying 40% you have the calculation of 40% and you are creating the supplier number with the invoice amount of 1000 so each invoices you are going to pay 250 so what you have to do is uh, not quick payment you create a normal payment instead of type quick you create a normal payment normal and another another question here Suppose, yes. for example, one supplier we have. Suppose we are paying monthly basis, right? Monthly we yeah. have the terms is payment terms is thirty. Okay. Okay. So in this whole month, he supplied suppose ten ex ten invoices. So in one check, we can clear all the payments, right? Yeah. All invoices. Yeah. If you are paying total amount, uh, the amount should match, no? So yeah, total amount. invoices comes around some nine eighty seven or nine eighty five. When it is in cents, you should match exactly the check amount. Then yes, you can create yeah, a that we will that we will do. For example, if some ten invoices of ten thousand, okay, at the month end we'll prepare one check of ten thousand, and we will adjust against all these invoices the payment. That is possible in one payment, right? Yes, yes, it is hundred percent possible that you can create one single payment and uh, apply all the ten invoices. You can clear. So yes. you have the reference, right? You have one check number as a reference for all the ten. Either you invoice. should write the invoice numbers, ten invoice numbers in your check, yes. vice versa. that that is fine no issue not totally just so this is how we are doing a payment so <coughs> payment is done so let's see how it will works in gi yeah this is very important so once you have done everything this is you request Submitting your request. Okay. So the main three point you have to notice: validate the invoice, approve the invoice, and then create account. Okay. See, you you can see here the create accounting program. Create accounting main for subledger accounting. Okay. So that whatever your transaction will be affected in your Main ledger. Yeah. That is main ledger. Yes. Your ledger is mission. Mission services will be seen. end date is must that should be current date no final error so you know report summary general transfer to gl it should be yes yes i will save this for your reference so that you can select the same Another sub request now, so you can click find, and you can see the request data. So don't worry about this format payment instruction, since it yeah. is not going to uh, mention into supplier that payment is processed. So this is that for its error. Once after every payment you are making, it will be like this. Okay. Validation. Because you need to be careful on payment. That's why it's showing here. So create accounting will be in warning because uh, we are transferring it to main ledger. So it is showing completed with warning, Com not with the error. After this, if you go to the invoice function F11, invoice number one two three four, control F11, say the second invoice not accounted.
see this is approval queue so if you have three levels of approval it will show here overall approved yes approver is operation since we are logging through approve operations queue that's why it's showing operations so if it is a name it will be like sohail narayanan suresh like that yes See, before uh, when we create the invoice, the amount payment is zero. Here, amount paid is zero. After we completed the payment, here you can see the amount paid. Yeah. Hold the date today because today we released this payment. Yes. Due payment, you can see the check number and check details how we paid the invoice. Everything is reflecting. If you want to see the payment overview, you can click this payment overview and see. These are the scheduled payment details. So amount remaining is zero. So total amount paid. See here you can see the accounting events, journal entries, supporting reference balance, control payable period. So once you've completed your payments for the period, you can do a reconciliation. I will show you how to do a reconciliation for this. And uh, here you can close your books. Okay. Once it is done. Supply reconciliation, right? Ah yes, supply reconciliation we have to do separately. This is for period close, I'm saying. How okay. to close AP period. So click control payables period and you can close the period here CLO SUD. So three options will be there. Exceptions is there. So all the exceptions should be cleared before we close the period. So open and close is there. You can close the period after clearing the exceptions. If I'm trying to close, it is showing exceptions. See, if it is not allowing this is showing some error, right? Yes. Click OK. Click Exceptions. OK. Review and OK. The request number is submitted. Yeah. You take a screenshot and click OK. So after the submission, go to View, Request, Find. Because multiple people's or created this uh, uh, using this operation window. So there will yeah. be a lot of invoices with uh, some exceptions. They are not yet created properly or some incomplete details should be there. So that and all you can see in this exception report. You can you have to you have to clear it, it should be must you should you are clearing all the open invoices. Some of does not appear to have any style information. Document reuse. This will not happen in actual scenario. 
So if you click the period close exception, you can see view output and you can see the <coughs> invoice list. Okay, invoice and supplier yeah. name be there. So that will show you how much. Pardon? Which is open? It will show the open invoices, right? Ah yes, it will show us the issue invoices. Whatever the invoices that is not completed correctly, that will show us. So here, in is, yeah, in exceptions. So you you can uh, work accordingly to clear those invoices. So and then you can proceed for period close. Just share, send this screenshot also for this one. AP this one. Payable closure. Create accounting also, it is showing some error. You yes. should complete accounting in order to have the impact in GL. Okay, please yeah, make sure. Is, you can understand this one. This uh, test application, test instance will have a lot of errors will come. Yes, Same thing exactly. I so, that is you are able to see multiple things. So, in the <laughs> live scenario, you can see all the things will work properly and you can clear exceptions and do create accounting. Once it is done, you go for period close. And the final one, I will tell you how to do the reconciliation. Okay. Supplier reconciliation. Supplier reconciliation. So take the aging balance. New request. Okay. New request. okay. Supplier statement or supplier report or supplier payment history. Open interface. It depends on how we are going to prepare. Or uh, let's see whether we can use So invoice register, you can see whatever the invoices you booked for the period. Yeah, invoice this registers. You, you have to note it in Excel. It will be easy for you in day to day activity. How to uh, pull the re register and how to see whatever the suppliers invoices will be created for the month. Approval status, whatever the invoices it is approved. But all registers, suppose for example, cash register, payment register, invoice register, we can pull in Excel, right? Yes. So. Initially, you need to do a setup and then you pull it uh, in Excel format and then you can do the reconciliation. Okay. So here it is not coming in Excel format, it is coming in different format and uh, we are unable to see it. Once, once your setup is in Excel, you can pull it and you can see. Unaccounted transaction simply account analysis report open account balance data manager open balance open account balance ledger accounting terms update sub ledger period close exception report you can use this report also to see the exceptions what is the name of this report sub ledger period close exception report. 
after you try to do a closure if you are unable to close you pull this report and see whatever the exceptions so you make sure you are clearing that exceptions and then you proceed to close yes So you must pull your drive balance from GL module. Okay, so that we already saw in our last GL session. Download the trial balance. Always download the fresh trial balance. Okay, after you completing everything, mm -hmm. after end the posting, download the general ledger DB and see your liability account balance. Okay. 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 Liability account balance is four million. The same your aging uh, balance. Okay. Supplier yes. balance. Yes, I will do one thing. I will show you some sample reconciliation for your reference. So it is yeah. not available here. So it will be easy for you to see how it is. See. Uh, so you know that trial balance amount is some. Player balance will list like what are the invoices created. Created, which is pending for uh, payment. Payment, yes. Okay. This will be in very detail, okay? I just updated for your reference. Yeah. So it looks your liability GLDP balance will be 1.2 million USD. So these and all your booked invoices, okay? These are all invoices you received yeah. and booked and yet to payment. So the payment liability amount should match like this. Again, if you have any difference that you need to work it out, that which invoice makes a difference and you have to clear it up. Same way, if you have prepayment, if you are creating a payment for a prepayment for five lakhs, yeah. in days once you are receiving one lakh invoices, you have to make sure that you are applying it to the right payment, right prepayment. Okay. So your uh, prepayment supplier name is Sun. So your invoice received same. What you have to do is so that you are paying your prepayment with the same suppliers payment. So in the end of the day, it should be matched. No, whatever invoice is adjusted against that payment, the balance will be carried forward, right? Suppose no, if we give off. if we give five hundred thousand advance prepayment, mm. okay. okay. So 
end of the month we will receive the invoices of uh, around 200000 okay okay so in prepayment account so 300000 it will show still correct yeah see that's so what i till we receive so the total yeah. amount i we'll pay make it zero right yeah what, what what is our ultimate goal is to make the prepayment account zero zero so i showed you this method so what you are saying is first method first month you paid 50000 to wilax to sun group sorry uh, yes you paid to this supplier okay so end of the month you received only one invoice yes so end of the month of february you will have this balance right yes so this is end of january and it will be like in february it will change okay. if you receive the february invoice yeah it may be anything so your closing balance will be like this right yes month on month uh, carry forward will be different so this is how your prepayment looks so in under the batch you can create multiple invoices in and uh, payment also if you are creating separately you can make a multi uh, bulk, bulk payment if you want yes, to yes. do a quick payment you click action and do a quick payment yes, yes. Okay. so prepayment and uh, again you can create a prepayments and uh, you can amortization amortize it month on month or weekly based on the invoices which you are receiving from your supplier yes the another one is your expense report so when we have any petty cash expenses or uh, if you have any uh, paying to any expenses any sales person or uh, for any purpose day to day expenses day to day expenses then you can uh, click the expense report and you can create expense uh, invoices okay. expense so uh, end of the month you can pull the expense report and see what are the day to day expenses okay so you note it down so the expense yes 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 for expense report we we can enter all expenses directly right or by yeah, jb under uh, not under one create uh, like uh, under one batch say for example if you are sending for uh, any sales related any project related make one batch yes. under the project name project name or number yes okay so if if next day if another sales person is going for another project or another sales then create a second batch or uh, if you are yes. if you have multiple sales person five person so create a five different uh, set or if you want to do all the expenses under one batch you create one batch and you can uh, add all the five persons uh, sales expenses yes okay. yes okay all are possible so you have to do a basic setup first according to your needs according to your uh, company requirement and then accordingly you can create the invoice and do a payment and do the create accounting you can see the impact in your gl and do the subledger closure and do the uh, balance sheet reconciliation for reliable data yes okay so hope you have you are clear now you do the workout from your side just let me know yeah, I'll, you by i'll i'll come back to you by evening whatever the queries i will try i'll do it to the party okay Okay. Just share me this Excel. No, by no, just for uh, only on WhatsApp I will con connect with you for if okay, any queries fine, or anything. Okay. Fine, fine. Class will do it tomorrow again. Okay, fine. And this one, share me this sheet. If you have any documents, so I means the quick documents. Okay. You you understand my point? Yes. Because Suresh sent me this of uh, 500 pages, 600 pages documents are there. Okay. Okay. i cannot go through all these 600 pages one by one one by one it's very difficult honestly okay. we'll see we'll see quickly if you have any doubt you just ping me in whatsapp we'll we'll yeah. share you the details accordingly as per your yeah. need so that it even if you have some uh, some documents which we can uh, which can be helpful for me but not very long it should be short yeah, yeah i understand so exactly we'll we'll uh, go with the uh, query whatever you have directly to that uh, exact point so i will help you out to refer how it is how it will make i will make you to easy for that how easy sure, you no can issue. no issues mr swami mr narayan so i will, i will, so, i make sure that you, you are understanding easily 
not not yeah, i'm uh, trying to understand but uh, when i go on the, the application let's see how it will come the okay. one it looked very simple but by seeing but while while doing let me try also because i will go through videos again because now the screen is very blur so maybe if it is clear in videos then it will be very helpful for me hopefully okay sir sure. okay see you see you tomorrow then okay. thank you, you. Make sure that you are saving that in your local system because after 30 days it will be. Yeah, I am saving. I am saving. I am saving. Save it in your local group. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good night. Bye.